Okay, here's the fourth class. I'm going to give you two today and finish this part up so I can get into what I really want to discuss. Fourth class. And the fourth class is all other things we neither know nor assume to know nor do we even believe them. Fourth class. We neither know nor assume to know nor can we formulate a well-defined belief as to when time began or when, if ever, it will end. Where space begins, how far it extends, or where, if at all, it ends. We neither know nor assume to know, nor do we have even a definite belief as to where, when, or how matter first came into existence, how long it will continue to exist, and what will ultimately become of it. We neither know nor assume to know, nor do we have a clearly defined belief as to how many suns, moons, and stars there are without, with, throughout all the universe of space, how many of them are inhabited, or what may be the number and character of their inhabitants. We neither know nor assume to know, nor can we formulate so much as a definite belief as to the number of fishes or other living things in all the waters of the earth, the insects which pervade the atmosphere that encircles and encloses the earth, or the living creatures that move upon the dry land. As to all such problems as these, and many others, we do not hesitate to acknowledge our total ignorance. Thus, by a simple analysis, we find that the data of the whole universe, so far as we are individually concerned, naturally divide themselves into four distinct and separate classes, namely, things we know, things we assume to know, things we believe, and things of which we are wholly ignorant. 